My now ex cheated on me because she thought I was going to break up with her. So for a little backstory, I 33 male had been dating Sarah 32 female for 6 years and loved every second of it. We were literally soulmates, and so obviously I was going to ask her to marry me. I had seen loads of crazy wedding proposals on YouTube and TikTok, so I knew this was something I wanted to get perfect. Eventually, I decided that I would take her to a really expensive restaurant, and when we got back, I would have a beautiful display with loads of flowers and a sign asking her to marry me. I even had a speech prepared. So when the day came, I was all dressed up in a 400-pound suit, and when I told Sarah we needed to go, she came downstairs in a t-shirt, jumper and jeans. This upset me quite a bit, but I didn't tell her because last time I commented on her outfit, we had an argument and I just wanted this day to be happy. Once we were in the car and halfway to the restaurant, Sarah told me she felt ill, asked if I would pull over at the pharmacy and get her some paracetamol. Thinking nothing of it I obliged. However, when I came out of the store, my car was missing and there was an envelope addressed to me where the car was parked. Inside the envelope were pictures of her naked with another man, and a note that said she knew I was going to break up with her, so she decided to cheat on me and leave me before I could do it to her. Can't even write what the note actually read, because there were some words in it that would get this post taken down. I have no clue where she got this idea from. Obviously, when she arrived home and saw the display I had set up in our room, she realized she had made a massive mistake. About 10 minutes after being abandoned, I got a call from her. She started the call by claiming it was a big joke, but when I mentioned the pictures, she became really apologetic and then followed up by telling me she can't wait to get married. I hung up and called my friend and asked if I could stay the night, which is where I am writing this from. I've got no clue what I should do. Now for the top advice. So she cheated, took picture to cause a lot of pain, then stole your car. Don't take her back. She cheated. Didn't care if she hurt you because she thought you were going to dump her, that's nuts. But be careful she doesn't show up pregnant, and if she does, get a paternity test before anything. I think it's pretty obvious you shouldn't take her back. Right. Her first choice was to cheat on you OP, instead of communicating with you. That is a bright sign that she is not a good partner for you, or even a good person my dude. If you take her back, she is going to cheat you every time she thinks there's major problem in y'all's relationship, and or you'll always feel paranoid that she will again, any time y'all have rough patches. The marriage would not a healthy relationship, but a toxic one. Marriage is work, and she is already demonstrating to you how she deals with problems. I mean if she really thought you were gonna break up with her, she would know she could've slept with another dude once she was single. But instead of rationally communicating her fears, she wanted to be the first to hurt you in the worst way. That is toxic. Do not, I repeat, do not take her back. I'm just thinking that she just randomly had some dude lined up to bang, and willing to take pics of it. No, that guy has been in the picture if any part of her story is true. It's not that she thought you were going to break up with her wearing your dress clothes during a fancy night out, so she banged a random dude. It's that she thought you had caught her having this affair, so it didn't matter to her to escalate it for maximum carnage. I think it's pretty easy to find someone to cheat with as reasonably attractive person, especially for women. All it takes is a couple hours, if that, on Tinder. That said, your version sounds much more likely. Don't do it. I understand you are upset and want things to go back to normal. You might be trying to spin this and defend her by telling yourself she only did it because she thought you were gonna hurt her by leaving. Get those thoughts out of your head. If she really thought you were gonna leave, this was the worst way to break up with you first. She cared more about getting even and hurting you back than trying to fix the relationship or making the breakup amicable. She is probably trying to tell you that she really does care about you and things can go back to normal. However, her actions have shown she is selfish. She broke your trust, getting married isn't gonna make her magically trustworthy again. Run far away dude. Cut her out of your life. And let your support network know what happened. Anyone who tries to break up like this is not stable, and I wouldn't trust them to not spread lies about what happened. Everything about this yes. You need to leave her, you deserve better. Way freaking better. My heart breaks for you man. I can only imagine what you're going through, especially to have so much excitement shut down by a low act. Leave and never look back. Let her rot in her own guilt and shame, and move on. You deserve it so freaking much. Next story. My 43 male, partner of 15 years female 38, admitted to having a drink too much at a work party and kissing a co-worker, and I ended it and moved out. Now I'm being blamed. In August, she came back from a three-day workshop in another state, and she was not really herself. I thought she was tired or having a work issue that she'd rather not discuss, so I acted normally and never brought it up. 
Early September she said we need to talk, then confessed that after the work thing, everyone went to the hotel's bar to celebrate, and that someone kissed her and she kissed him back. She said she had drunk wine, and says it wouldn't have happened without the alcohol. We've been together for about 15 years, neither had the desire to have children so we have none. I always treated her with respect and trusted her fully, and the few disagreements we had over the years were silly nonsense that we worked out immediately, and never even had one event that amounts to a fight. Still, cheating as it has always been to me a definitive and immediate relationship killer. I knew exactly where I stood, and didn't even think twice before telling her that I appreciate her honesty and the fact that she did not want to continue living a lie, but that it was over, and I'll begin moving out in a few days. I couldn't stay with her in the same place and needed time to take in the shock, so I went and stayed with my mother and let it all dawn on me. It was painful, I felt immense betrayal, I thought about the best years of my life that I wasted with her, and the times I shut down attempts by women or left immediately when I felt someone was becoming flirtatious, and I just felt like an utter fool. Anyway, I got calls from mutual friends and her family, and I remained very respectful to her, but told everyone that I can't recover from something like that, and that it's over and no hard feelings. I then went back while she was out, and took a few pieces of my own clothing and books, and left everything else. Did not want to look petty and take any other items, even the things that I bought, which is basically pretty much everything since I always wanted to be the provider. That was in October, and since then I've been slowly recovering psychologically and getting back to my normal routine, and I think I will be alright. Naturally I remember things from all the years we've been together and I feel deep dark sadness, but I don't miss her nor want her back, and I can't imagine being with her again now that I visualize her kissing another man. I am thoroughly repulsed. The problem is that, people on my side, a couple of my own friends and a few family members, have begun telling me that I was mistaken, and they just couldn't tell me that during the tougher times when my world was crashing down. I hear things like, a single kiss is nothing, it's not like they hooked up or even made out, you can't throw away 15 years for a few seconds of weakness, and the one I get the most, is one form or another of it was the wine. As much as I'd like to claim that I'm totally confident, and no words by anyone would make me doubt myself, they succeeded in making me wonder if I'd reacted in the wrong way. It takes time for my change of address to take effect, so she still gets my mails and bills and calls me, and I go to pick them up and act politely but very robotically. She still tells me that she's sorry, and that she'd do anything to get another chance, but the betrayal keeps replaying in my head and it's horrific. I don't want to be with her ever again. Now I'm neither looking for affirmation nor blame. I'm seeking your honest opinions no matter what they are, and I can take it no problems. Don't spare my feelings or anything. Just tell it as it is. Thanks you. Now for the advice. The problem here is that most cheaters trickle the truth out. They say just a kiss, then you find out more the more you dig. You made the right choice because chances are far higher that a whole lot more happened than just a kiss in those three days. This is exactly what my father told me when he came for Christmas, and he's been in this life for 82 years and have seen it all. He said in most likelihood that more happened, and she was just testing my reaction with a hint of truth. Your father sounds like a wise person. If I were you, I would be shutting the people down that are pushing you to reconsider. One time, okay I'll humor you. Do it again, then we won't be seeing each other again. After all, at the end of the day you make your own choices in life. She chose to, at the very least, make out with someone other than her partner. You chose to end things because of that. Live your choice and don't allow anyone to tell you different friend. You get to decide your boundaries, she broke them. Breakups are deciding that staying with a partner isn't in your best interest. It was right for you to break up, because that was what you decided for yourself. They would have done something different. whoop dee freaking do it's your life and your decision, and the only wrong decision here would be staying with her, when you knew you didn't have the capacity to move beyond this. That's just breaking up with more steps. You don't need to worry when she's late from work. You don't have to worry about what happens at a Christmas party. You don't have to check when she was last active on Messenger. You made the choice that was best for you. That's what people should do in your position. This is extremely comforting. Thank you for this. Don't let people guilt you into going against your values. Only you know what you will or will not tolerate, and a kiss is definitely cheating. You are strong for doing what needed to be done despite the heartbreak. That's true strength of character. My husband and I have both said over our almost 15 years together that any form of cheating would be an immediate deal-breaker for either of us as well. Like you, I think my feelings would just instantly dry up upon hearing it. The people telling you it was just a kiss. What about the choices that led to the kiss happening? What about her behavior made this coworker think this was okay? Why was her response to kiss him back? If someone came at me trying to kiss me, my reaction would either be to move or slap them quite honestly. 
Drinking a bit of wine is not going to make you start randomly kissing people, and if it does, then I am pretty sure that is something about yourself you should be aware of as an adult, and shouldn't put yourself in situations like that. That's the crux of it for me. I would never put myself in a situation where cheating was an outcome. I understand everyone has different boundaries and whatnot, but it sounds like you had been clear with her about yours, and you feel how you feel. Don't let others pressure you into going against your own instincts. Last story. I'm tired of my boyfriend making me feel guilty about my privileges. I female 26 have been dating my boyfriend male 28 for around 6 months. We met through a hikers group and we really hit it off from there. Turns out we have some mutual friends and so we as a big group would get together and do weekend hikes and camping trips often. Hiking and camping are something that I started around a year ago. I was not an outdoors person but it's kind of nice to just be out in nature and I'm glad I have a new hobby. I still think that I'm more of a city girl. I like going out with my girlfriends and I like trying new restaurants. My boyfriend has been hiking and camping practically since he was a child. It kinda is his one thing that he loves above all else. I then discovered that this is basically all he does. He really doesn't have any other hobby besides just hiking and camping. He's got a job working for a big outdoor retailer. The money is crap, but he enjoys it. I have my own apartment and I have my own routine while he has roommates that he lives with. He will help me clean around the place when he's here, but I am never over at his place because it's a mess. It bothers me that he's over so often because I want my own space too. But when I brought it up that he shouldn't spend the night every night with me, he was so upset and I basically have to sit down and explain that I just want my own damn space too. He's also upset at my spending habit. He thinks that I spend too much money on useless things like expensive groceries, my yoga and pilates membership, my nails, my hair etc. But I don't see the big deal, it's my money, so I can use it how I want to. Even when we go out to eat, I have never once asked him to pay, because I know that I have expensive taste and he can't afford it. I'm graduating this month and I will be starting a job at a big four accounting firm. My parents are so proud and I am proud of myself too. They got me a vacation and they gave me first class tickets as my graduation gift. They didn't get my boyfriend a ticket and when my boyfriend found out, he kept ranting about what a waste of money it was and how that money could be used to feed people or help less fortunate people. I was upset it was a gift from my parents and they can afford it. I know I'm fortunate but I still shouldn't be made to feel guilty about the nice things I have. Now for the top comments before reading the update. Think this over carefully. Do you want to have to answer to someone about your expenses when you are paying your own? He sounds exhausting and an exhausting judgy leech at that. He's not worth it. There are definitely red flags for OP to be aware of, that her boyfriend will sabotage her entire future and take over the things she does for herself as his own. He's just an absolute parasite who is less capable of adulthood than OP is. Some partners can be helped, but if he thinks he is here to be the one to help OP, he's just dangerous all around for her self-sufficiency. He resents her for making more money. My awful ex would do this. It is an attempt to make himself feel powerful, and it will not stop. And he never pays for your dinners ever. Gee, you think he would at least once, with all the money he has been saving. Run girl, run. You two are equally yoked. He wants you to settle for the lifestyle he can afford, rather than working to allow you to maintain your lifestyle if you are together. This is going to continue to be an issue. Y'all don't even live together yet, can you imagine living with a man who is messy and doesn't clean after himself, but will tell you that hiring a cleaning service is excessive. Yoga and Pilates are not extravagances. And yet, he also seems mad that she refuses to be his meal ticket, no trip present for him from her parents, and he can't stay over every night yet. He wants to be indulged, but also retain the right to be cheap and self-righteous about it. Edit and update. Wow, this post really blew up, so I have a few updates. I do pay for my own expenses in my own apartment. I do have a full-time job on top of school. My parents did pay for my tuitions, however. While my parents are well off, they are never first class tickets people on the regular well off. This was a huge gift from them for my MBA. I told my boyfriend that if he wanted to find a different path, I would help him find a counselor and looking for enrolling at a community college. I even offered to help him because I do care about him and I want a better future for him. He said and I quote, you're gonna work for the man and you're now trying to change me into one of them. So, he is now my ex-boyfriend. I see now that we are not compatible. Thank you everyone so much for your support. I got a few laughs out of some. Shout out to the guy who warned me about the busy season. It's going to be hell, but at least they gave me a signing bonus.